Greetings, special centurions, and welcome, fellow YouTubers, back to Oblivion. We are currently in the Imperial City Market District, where I've just finished selling all of the loot that we found at the Fort Homestead Run, the, the Fort Homestead Ruin, I should say, and buying myself a brand new shield. Look at that. Look how sexy that shield looks. Looks awesome, doesn't it? Nice gem in the center. Looks solid. It's pretty pretty good material we want to take a look at it and what it does it's the shield from the shield shop the tower of the nine so it's heavy armor it shields five percent on self it gives fortify block five points fortify heavy armor five points and it drains light armor ten points but that's absolutely fine because we don't wear light armor anymore and then it's weighs 14 and gives me 11 defense so it's a pretty damn good shield i'm pretty happy with it and uh, yeah, we're starting to get pretty buff now, chat. Uh, at the end of the last episode, we received a letter from um, a man called Umbacano inviting me to his estate. Uh, something to do about the Aeliad statue I found and sold. So I think we should make our way to his estate now and see what he has to say, see what he wants from us. I could have sworn there was some known route somewhere in the city down one of these, but I can never remember where it is. So I think now that we're getting a bit more powerful, it would be a good time for us to start exploring all of the places that we've discovered on the map so far but haven't been into. I think there's about three or four of them dotted around the map where we've discovered them and then just gone past them. You, you're the guy who arrested him. Can I help you, citizen? Oh, we don't get anything. Truth is, believe. You're the guy who arrested the guard, the guard captain. I was hoping I'd get something for it, some kind of reward or recognition at least for having him arrested but no it didn't seem that way oh well let's check him here for repair hammers quickly because repair hammers aren't that numerous and it's all well and good buying them now that i've got the money to buy them but if you keep buying them the shops soon run out and you don't actually have any repair hammers so it's good to collect them from here every now and then because they respawn in here, they're completely free, as you can see, and you get a good number of them. So you just check about all these boxes, check through all these boxes as you go around town. You can actually get quite a good number of repair hammers. That's like four already. Five. Yeah, pretty happy with that, and I haven't even checked these yet. Six. So yeah, just top, it just keeps your repair hammers topped up nicely. Did I check these? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Into Amakano Manor. Welcome. My master instructed me to show you up immediately. Please follow me. My master. Master. Alright, so we'll just see what Lord Amakano... Oh, you can read that. It's free. Doesn't count as stealing. Um... We'll head upstairs, find out... Uh oh he's... There we go. Find out... Oh, this step is tricky, isn't it? I can't... Even I... There we go. That is a tricky step you've got there, sir. <laughs> Now's a good time ah, to... The treasure hunter. Please, have a seat. May I have some cheese? No! Don't touch the cheese. You're not allowed it. Then why did you put it out? It's just tantalizing me. I want some cheese. No, it's stealing. Thank you for coming. You may recognize that statue over there on the table. The very one that you recently sold for less than its true worth. So you stole it from me. That's As what you I'm may hearing. know, I am somewhat of an enthusiast for alien antiquities. In my own modest way, I have amassed a rather considerable collection. I have recently become interested in obtaining the complete set of these ancient statues. I believe that ten still exist. Hmm. No mere shopkeeper knows their true worth. If you bring them to me when you find them, I will pay you double for each one. Mm. Okay, that sounds good. I am looking for the complete set of ten for my collection. So there's nine they left They were then. once part of the Temple of the Ancestors in the ancient Aeliad capital. Capital. Through my research, I have learned that they were removed from the temple before its sack by men. I believe they were hidden in various Aeliad settlements across Cyrodiil. 
although I do not know the exact location of any of them. Well, fat lot of good you are then. Why? Have you already found another statue for me? What do you expect? I've just been sitting here. No. Well, then, you have work to do. I will continue to search the archives for any clues to the statue's locations. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be a big help. Rumor. Milona Umbrinox, Ariana Valga, and Narina Carvain seem to rule their counties perfectly well without male assistance. Good to know. You know it as White Gold Tower, the center of the ancient alien capital of Nibine. Nibine. It was brutally sacked brutally. thousands of years ago <laughs> by humans <laughs> led by a <laughs> The Imperial City is built over the ruins of that ancient city. Okay, I've heard all I wanted to hear. You too. If you'll just follow me. Very good. What? Oh, no, I want to get up. The let, treasure me, hunter. let me up. Please. Shut up. You've already given me the quest. Okay. Let's get out of here. It's about time. Oh, I need to speak to, whilst I'm in the Imperial City, I need to speak to someone about the Arcane University, about a cure for vampirism. Now that we're a vampire, we need to start that mission. Get that ball rolling. What can I do? I'm pleased that you would ask. There is a way, though it's not known to me. Countess Sildor of Skingrad has done the most recent research on a cure, I believe. He's what you might call a vested interest in the subject. I suggest you travel there and seek an audience with him. And given your condition, I believe he may assist you. You know I'm a vampire. Why don't you try and murder me on the spot then? That's weird. What can I interest you in? What can you interest me in, indeed? Oh, immobilize is going for only 841. Is that all? Let's see if we can haggle that down Tell as well. More. Okay, so he's almost maxed out. Let's uh, cast a spell on him to get that even higher. Take care. Don't mind me, I'm just casting a spell on you. How are you today? Shut up. Good day. Have a look around. Haggle, we want to haggle it at, what, 70? I think he'll be okay for. Let's take a look at... Certainly. He's 85, so 70 should be all right. Can I interest just. you in some of my wares? Uh, I want to eventually learn... Illusion skill of 75 mute would be incredibly useful. So yes, let's try that. And also immobilize would be very useful as well. I think the next... Don't have enough money, let alone magicka, yeah. Uh, I think the next magic skill we want to get up is um, alteration, so we can pack mule it. Uh, and that will allow us to build up bigger amounts of wealth more easily because we can carry more stuff. Goodbye. Oops, we can then carry more things whenever we loot places. What is it? Okay, so uh, let's just go to Skingrad quickly because I know I said I wanted to go and loot stuff, but the, one of the easiest ways to get money, f oh, we need money basically, we're just completely destitute now at the moment. And I need to build my cash up again. And Skingrad is a great place for building money up because of the crazy person. So let's go to Skingrad first and uh, we'll go from there. Skingrad 920. Uh, the crazy person's not going to be running around yet. He probably runs around in, during the day. We can, however, go in this person's house. I believe someone's house here has... Oops, not that way. Has skeletons in it for some reason. So we can go in there and fight them. They might have some good weapons, some silver weapons we can but sell. Uh, I think it's this next house over. Yeah, it's in this one.
Shit, the skeleton hero. Ow, there's two of them as well. Ow, back out of there. Ha ha, now what are you going to do, fool? Oh, you can go through the gate. No, I should have closed the gate. Oh, it's, it, no, it's not closed. I thought it was closed. Oh, the guards have showed up. They're going to steal my experience. Ow. Ow. Help, save me. Save me. Over here. Uh -huh. That guy is here. Yes. Yeah, well, I'm busy fighting a skeleton at the moment. Oh, he fucking killed me. He killed me in two hits. Okay, so this guy is here. So let's just... Oh wait, this guy's going to come out now, isn't he? No, he's not. Okay. Firstly, while there's no skeleton around, let's go and talk to this crazy person. He is running around here somewhere. Should come up any minute. There he is. Good. Yes. I don't really feel... We can't talk here. Okay. Too public. Okay. Right, so that's good. That's that getting sorted, and that's in two hours as well. Good, so we can now go and carry on fighting the Skellingtons. I'm going to close the gate so the Skellington can't get out. Two of them, so I need to be careful. Wait, which one's my one? I think I hit my one. I think I was aiming at my one. Oh shit, they know how to operate ma the machinery. We're, we're doomed, chat. We're doomed. They know how to use gates and doors. They have opposable thumbs like us. Quick, hide on a rock. They can't jump though. They don't have proper knee structure. They don't have ligaments in their knees. Okay, here come the guards. Where are the guards? What are they doing? I thought I saw the guards coming, but they just, they've run off. Oh well, fine by me. I can fight these guys. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not trapped up here. It's all good. It's all good, guys. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. Is there a guard somewhere? I can hear him yelling. They don't seem interested in the guard at all. Yeah, I can hear him shooting. They are just not, there he is. They are just not interested in the guard at all. Right, one of them's gone after the guard. Now we can go and fight the other one. No, he came back. He came back. It was a, it was a double cross. <laughs> They're just running into each other. That's really funny. Giving each other kisses. Come back. Yeah, he's fighting the guard now. Fuck me, they do a lot of damage. Go after Skeletor, please. Okay, the guard got rid of one of them. What have they got? Silver battle axes, yeah, I thought so. Fucking run! Protect me, guardsmen. Oh shit, it hit me. It killed me. It fucking stunned me with a jump attack, and then I can fucking get out, get away, and it just killed me. Alright, let's go back in. The guards there were fucking useless. Right, these things are still insanely powerful, it would appear.
Oh, because it's a hero, not a guardian. That's why they're doing so much damage. I thought they were skeleton guardians. They're not the skeleton heroes. They're insanely strong. Can I just jump up in here? No, you can come get me. Whoa, I almost hit the guard, and that guy almost got me. Okay, they're going after the guard now. That guard's probably going to die, but that's fine. That means you can loot his stuff. What will we tell his wife and kids, though, chat? Let's get in there and fight them. Did I hit you? I didn't mean to hit you. I'm sorry. We'll hack them up together, guardsmen. Nice. That's one of them down. Yeah, the guard died. That's so funny. The guard was like, do your worst, and it just cut him in half. <laughs> right, we need to fireball this thing. Let's go loot the guard before anyone else comes and picks up his stuff, because he's got some good shit that we can sell. Good work, guardsman. No one saw me kill and no one saw me hit this guy and then loot him, so we're all good. Right. Now that that's done. Crouch so no one can see me go in. There should be more. This is all stealing, but... We can get loads of ingredients in here, which is good. Oh, I hear a ghost. I hear a ghost of some kind. Oh, we're almost overburdened as well. No point summoning a skeleton against a ghost. Do I have any silver weaponry? I don't think I do. Oh, silver battle axe. Yeah, silver longsword as well. Oh, the guardsman dropped the silver longsword, didn't he? Nice. So we can we can fuck the ghost up. It's fine. Don't hiss at me. It's mean. You're scaring me. Can't get through the fireplace, nothing in there. I never understood. Whoa. It's an ancient ghost as well. This is a good opportunity to get our blunt up, actually, since we've got some blunt weapons in our inventory. We might as well. but not enough to kill me, so I'm good. Just need to heal up. Oh, it's followed me. It's followed me, chat. I knew what I was doing. Aha! The chair saved me. Ow, that hurt. All right, let's go back around this way now. doing enough damage that we can't heal through the damage, unfortunately. Another hit like that and we're going to go down. Another couple of hits like that and we'll go down. Oh good, it got stuck on the stairs. Yeah, so we can't hit it through the stairs, that's good. Game's not completely broken. Oh shit, it came and attacked. I didn't notice. Let's go upstairs then. I don't think there's anything upstairs. So let's go up while it's down. Uh, and loot the place. It is a fucking quick ghost. Jump down, jump down. Oh, I can't get down here. I'm trapped. We have to go out. 
Is it going to come out? If it comes out, then the guards will fuck it up. No, it's not. Okay, so we can just heal here. We can heal here, chat. We're all good. Take a moment to heal up. Oh, the ghost did go out. It went some other way, it went around there. Yeah, it's there. Ow. Oh, the guard can't do anything because he doesn't have a silver weapon. Hopefully the ghost will kill the guard. If I leave, the ghost should kill the guard. But I don't think it will because I don't think the guard will aggro the ghost because he can't hit the ghost. So the ghost is going to stay aggro to me. And he's just going to start fucking chasing me around town. Yeah, it's just chasing me around town. Oh well. Let's save it in case I hit one of the guards. Yeah, it's just ignoring the guard who's just insulting it and missing it with his sword. So funny. What's the matter? Getting tired? Get away, dude. I can't hit it with you there. This is annoying. This is a nuisance. I can't swing with, I, with him there because he's darting around all over the place. Don't, don't any of you have... Okay, no. Silver long swords. I thought you had silver long swords. Where's the archer? There's a guy here with an arch with a bow. He should have a silver long sword. If I bring the ghost over this way, he should pull out his sword and start swinging at it. Otherwise, we're going to be here all day chat. No, he's just run away. He's just using his bow. This is annoying. I can't attack it with the guards there like that. Because I'll end up hitting the guardsmen and then getting arrested. Oh, here comes another guardsman with his bow. Oh, he's actually got a sword. No, he's got a bow. He just decided to run up and... Okay, now there you go. He pulled his sword out. So that guardsman has a silver long sword. The two of them have silver long swords. They should be able to fuck it up quite easily now. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Thank you, guardsman. Take the exoplasm. Thank you, Mr. Guardsman. I appreciate the help. Now I'll come around here while they're all at the front. Sneak back inside. Sneak snog my way back inside. Yes, yes. Very good. There's like nothing on the second floor, is there? No, save it. I don't know who Neris Starrell is, but his house has been wrecked by undead. Should be another skeleton hero in here. No, it's a ghost. Great. Oh, and a skeleton hero. Skeleton guardian. Okay, let's leave. We can't handle both of them. Wait, the stairs are here. We can handle the skeleton guardian just. That's the front door. I don't want the front door. I want to fight it as much as I can before the guards show up. So, silver longsword. Four skeletal. Health back. And now we fight him. Tee he missed me. stuck on.
No Skeletor! Die, damn you! How much health does the Guardian have? Oh, he's got plenty. The Skeleton here. Oops. Skeleton Guardian doesn't stand a chance. Right, where's his mace? There's his mace. There's a shield. Right, let's repair some shit. We've got loads of repair hammers. We're 390 over. This is why I want the burden. I'm not 390 over, sorry. We're 35 over. So this is why I want the uh, feather spell. So we'll drop the fine steel bow. Drop the silver mace. And that should be good. Oh, we're three over still. Oh, the guard helmet's not worth shit. Neither is the skin grad shield. We can always come back and pick that up if we need to. Quick save, get the silver battle axe out because that's what we're going to need to fight this ghost. Whoops, I just walked in here and the guard was right there and I wasn't sneaking. Whatever. Okay. It's fine, they don't care chat, they don't pay attention to that kind of thing. Heal up a bit. Can you follow us? Yeah, he followed us. Whoa. Okay, back out into the street then. We can't defeat this thing. Well, we can fight a bit more. Get a bit more blunt. That'll do. So he'll probably go out the back route like he did last time. He won't come out at all. Oh, there he is, yeah. God's going brr, brr, brr. Funny. Where's the store? There's a blacksmith, so we can go in there and sell everything in the morning as soon as we need to. What time is it? It's five in the morning, should be open in a couple of hours. Alright, let's hide around this corner, wait for the ghost to come around, and then we're gonna fuck it up. That silver arrow that the guard's are using, because it's hitting it. It's somehow hitting the guard. No, it's still targeting me. Good work, guardsmen. Yeah, he's using silver arrows. I'll take those. Thank you. Take all of these silver arrows. Very useful. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Good work, Mr. Guardsman. Oh, there's another one there. Any more silver? Yeah, another one there. 
Any more around where this one was being shot at? Doesn't look like it. Can't see any more. Lovely jubbly, lovely jubbly. Right, let's wait. A oh, and if I wait, I'll increase my vampirism, so I don't want to wait. Although now might be a good time to feed, actually, just thinking about it. Let's take off all our armor and equipment. F5, save it. Break into the hammer and tongs, go upstairs and feed on the blacksmith before coming back down and selling everything to him. Find where he is. What is this? Dingrad. Basement. He'll be up here somewhere. Reinforced door. Door to Skingrad. Living quarters anywhere? Reinforced door. Reinforced door easy. He's probably behind here. Maybe. We'll find out. Could be behind one of them. <gasps> He's not in there, chat. There he is. There he is. We found him. It's a her. Ah, she's an alcoholic. Mmm, I love alcoholic blood. Agnete the Pickled. No, we're not going to bother that. We're just going to get out of here. It's getting too late or too early in the morning. Cha. Okay, so we're good. Now we can afford to wait because we feed it, so it won't increase our vampirism level. It's only two hours, so wait two hours. Oh, what? Oh, fuck's sake. Whatever. We've gone up to vampirism. Next level, even though we just fed. Ha! Now the sunlight's going to start hurting us. What time do shops and skin grad open? This is, a, this is an outrage. Time is it? 8.40. Let's go back into... Oh, that's a hard lock we can pick while no one's around. Just think get some more experience. Oh, almost had it first. First time there, chat. First time. Oh, I forgot to meet the guy behind the chapel. Damn it. I meant to do that while it was... um. While it was night. Oh, we can't wait while trespassing. Oh, for fuck's sake. We can't wait out here. I can't wait hey. while we're trespassing. Hello, lady. Me? I'm Falano. House Lalo. As if that House Lalo. Uh, skin. Any rumors? I saw Ugok Gromogok earlier. At least I think it was her. Perhaps it was her sister. Well, how's that a useful rumor? Fucking idiot. Daedra Cult? Makes you think I'd know anything about that. I don't know. But it just so happens I've run into some sanguine worshippers up in the Imperial Reserve. Ooh, okay. A long way north, northwest of Skingrad. Interesting. Can't give you any better directions, unfortunately. Traveled mostly at night with a guide and didn't see much on the way. Oh, but it pinpoints it exactly on the map. That's funny. Be seeing you. Yes. Anything, anything else about Skingrad? I'm the only alchemist in Skingrad. Not much business here, but I can't go back to Morrowind. It's just like anywhere else in the Empire. Yeah, just about. By the way, do you happen to know what the fine is here in Cyrodiil for necrophilia? What? Just asking. What? <laughs> is it the first offense? Let's assume... No. Gross. At least 500 That's gold. nothing compared to Morrowind. <laughs> Thanks. Gross. <laughs> you necrophiliac-loving crazy person. That's disgusting. Like I am, yeah. What can I do for you? 
Do you have anything for me? I've heard that someone has it out for Tutius Sextius. But who'd want to hurt him? I don't know, but with a name like Tutius Sextius, he probably has it coming. And I would know. I know my Roman names, motherfucker. Let's go to heal minor wounds and just keep healing minor wounds to keep our health up. Good, does that mean this is open now? No, not quite. We can't wait anywhere. It's nine o'clock. Come on, people. What time do you open your shops? This is an outrage. It's not locked, but it's not locked because I broke in. Well met, citizen. Come on, open up. Open, I demand you open. Is it like a Sunday or something? Nope. How much do I have in my inventory? I'm literally maxed, right? Oh, no, because I went up in vampirism level, so I can... I'm more buff than ever, chat. I can go pick this stuff up that's on the skeleton out here. Oh, I can't. I need to drop the helmet. The helmet's too much. Oh, we're five over. Uh, let's drop the... Boots. We'll come back for them in a second. Getting greedy, chat. Getting greedy in my vampiric old age. How the fuck is it not fucking... Let me... Oh. I can wait for some reason. It must be under, because I'm under the thing. How are you not open? Oh, fuck it. I'm just going to go in. Oh, no, we're not. Someone came out. Hurry up and open, you pricks. That's locked again now. That's open. Oh, what about this shop? Is this shop open? Yeah. Should have, should have gone here all along. All right. Let's charm this guy. Welcome to... Go ahead. 48, eh? So... He hates admiration. Okay, so he hates... He hates vertical. <laughs> you can, oh, that... No, he likes horizontal, hates vertical. <laughs> This, I don't remarkable. Oh, I, I don't talk such rot. What a great story. That's just talk. That's just talk. And then what we'll do is we'll use our vampiric skill to get him plus 50. Vampire Bye. seduction. To get him up to plus 50. Good day. So now he'll be Certainly. basically maxed. And we Have can haggle with him for maximum price. Which I think is 65. 65 is the most they ever go to, I believe. I could be wrong. Fine steel bow. That's a fair nice. deal. Nice. Silver battle axe. Silver battle axe. You Silver long sword. You've made a good Silver mace. It's curious. I didn't kill a guard to steal these. A skeleton killed them in the middle of the city. Do you believe me, don't you? Okie dokie. That's all that. Yep, yeah, good. Another satisfied customer. All right, let's go out and get the rest of the shit that's around here. Let's go upstairs to the basement, uh, to the uh, bedroom. Find out what's in there because we haven't looted it yet. Anything of interest? Anything of interest? Books. A couple of books lying around. Let's read them. No, nothing there. More ingredients. I'll turn all the ingredients into potions in a minute. Oh, an Alimbic. Fucking nothing in here, chat. I suppose the place is pretty run down. I didn't know what I expected, but still. Expected a bit more loot than that, having cleared it of the zombies and undead. Right, while we're not burning up in the sun, let's make some potions. Onion, 
watermelon, potato, pumpkin, corn, bone meal, mutton, crab meat. Crab meat doesn't seem to go with anything. Exoplasm, grapes, pear, rice, leek. Venison. No, I'll have to eat the venison again. I always have to eat the venison because it's in the bottom of the list, so I never get to it before I run out of all the other ingredients you can mix it with. Uh, where's venison? Venison. And it weighs two pounds each, so. Ooh. See if this guy's still charmed? No, he's not anymore. What can I do? What can I interest you so in? So we have to lower the haggle price. 58%? Maybe that went down when his thing went down. Let's find out. Well, that seems it did. Yeah, price. nice. So that's a good way of finding out what the max um, maximum you can get for selling is. Just charm them up to 100% and then put it up to like 65 and then wait for their charm to wear off and it will drop with their disposition their personal personality disposition towards you will drop naturally down to the maximum they'll sell for which is cool cure disease cure paralysis potion of healing restore fatigue get rid of the restore fatigues you drop an excellent bargain uh, all good here yep 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 okay cool so I did all of that fine. The only thing I forgot was um, going to see the oh, crazy person what? behind the. I saw Ugak drop. What do people do here? The rest are farmers or herders. Wines are a skin grud spe Okay. Yeah, I forgot to go to the behind the chapel and meet the guy there, which is annoying. Have I looted this place yet? I don't think I have, by the looks of things. Magic from the sky and a free welkin stone. Thank you. Peruvian traders and Gunder is a friendly selector. I bought a number of things from Gunder. I've always been set. Let me just check if I've looted up here. I think I have. No, I haven't yet. And none of it's stealing either. How are we doing on time? Uh, I'll do that in between episodes, guys. I'll come and loot this and sell everything because. It's a pretty penny that you can get for that. Plus the Fighters Guild we can loot as well. Right, now that it's day... Oh, I wanted to sleep there. That's what I was doing. Let's go in there and sleep. And then we'll head up to Skingrad and pick up the mission. Sign of Earth or uh, carry on the vampire mission. See if we can speak to the Count. Sleep for an hour. Level 13, it's the most amazing thing. Yesterday was hard and today it is easy. Just a good night's sleep and yesterday's mysteries are today's masteries. Okay, three in endurance, not bad. Three in strength, I'll take. And two in intelligence. We need more magic. You have that. Yeah, I do. Ah! Yeah, I do. Right, so we need to go to Castle Skingrad. I can't remember how you actually get to it, which one you exit through. Is it up here, maybe? It might be that over there. No, it's not over here. I wasn't talking to you, ass clown. You told me not to talk to you in the day. Must be this way. Here on the right. Yeah, here it is.
Select the right quest so it doesn't mess Greetings. up. Greetings. I'm afraid the Count does not see anyone without an approved appointment. Do you have an appointment? How about this for an appointment? <laughs> I see. Please, wait here one moment. <laughs> She's I, like, I shall see. speak with the Count. <laughs> okay, speak with the Count then. Good day. Go on then. Go on then. Go speak with the Count. Can I help myself to any of these? No, it's stealing. What about any of these? No, that's stealing as well. Why lay out food for... Oh shit, I mean fireball. Sorry, sorry. That's my bad. Sorry. Accidental fireball. Right, guys. We'll see what the Count has to say. Continue this quest line a little bit. Or advance it to the next stage. This quest line is what I mean. Then I'll end the episode there. I'll run around Skingrad looting the Fighters Guild, looting the Mages Guild. And then by then it should be night. So we're ready to meet Glafir behind the... Um, behind the chapel. That's not the right word for it. Cathedral. Behind the cathedral at the start of the next episode. And then we'll go from there. The shepherd sure does take care of his sheep. And boy, does he really likes cheese. I like cheese. <laughs> Not more than My sheep. god, you've got in such sure enchanting conversation is. skills, conversational Goodbye. skills. <laughs> I like cheese. Cheese is nice. Here comes the count. You just need to get Illusion to level 75 so we can cast expert level Illusion skills. And then we can start casting in uh, Alteration skills to get our Alteration up. And then we can carry more. And then we can loot more. There he is. I understand you're looking for a cure for vampirism. You're a vampire too. This is fortunate, as I also seek the cure. Mm, why would you want the I cure? I wish to tell you a story so that you might understand why I would trust you with my secrets. Would you hear it? Mm, sure. More than 50 years ago, my wife Rona and I were both turned into vampires. Oh dear. While I came to embrace the changes in myself, she did not. You like it, don't you, you sick bastard? She hated what she had become and refused to feed to keep herself healthy. She eventually slipped into a coma from which she is not awoken. Oh dear. My trusted servants have cared for her all this time, but I wish for her to at last find peace. The cure is for her. Okay. I have researched what I can, but acquiring the cure is beyond my grasp. I cannot risk drawing too much attention to myself. So I would ask that you take up the search on my behalf. If you are successful, I will reward you in whatever small way I can. Will you aid me? Yeah, sounds good. What little I have discovered points to the witches of Glen Morrow. In the past, they have been capable of creating a cure. I have searched for these witches throughout Cyrodiil, but no coven still exists within its borders. There may be one left. I have unconfirmed reports of a woman seen near the Corbolo River. Okay. That's the description of these witches. Okay. Seek her out and learn whether she can help. She lives somewhere along the river east of the Imperial City and south of Chaden Hall. If you are successful in finding a cure, report to my steward. You have my thanks. Okay, that sounds simple enough. Any rumors for me? They say Alinor on Somerset Isle is more beautiful. I've never been. For the present, I must count the Imperial City the most glorious in Tamriel. Cool. Good to know. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you, bye. bye. I'm through talking to you. There's Whoa. such dicks in this place, I love it. It's so funny. 
All right, let's quick save and see if we can leap off the bridge yet. I didn't leap. I fell. I fell. I plummeted. Blah. No, we broke our legs, chat. We don't have the acrobatic skill to jump off just yet. We will one day, though. We will one day. Right, guys. I'm going to end the episode there. And then going to now, like I said, going to run down into skin grad. I'm going to loot everything I can from the mages and fighters guild just to get our currency a bit further. Um, a bit more, a bit higher than it already is. Uh, I will be back tomorrow morning with another episode of Oblivion. Thank you so much for hanging out today. I hugely appreciate it. I hope you're all enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing it still. And yeah, hopefully I'll catch you in tomorrow's episode. If not, I'll try and catch you in some other content I produce. I try and make content every single day now. So, sal wait till next time.